Yo chat, yo chat, we're gonna do a grocery haul review with me and JP. Hey, we're at Winco with it. And we're going in for building muscle and truly eating no processed food. So if you're going to the store and you don't know what to eat, I'm gonna be showing you guys what you need to get on a regular basis to feel 100% so you can actually chase your purpose with the full passion and full desire check. Let's get straight into it. This is how alphas walk into the store check. Yeah, look how the first thing you walk in and you see, you see some donuts, you see some sugary stuff. You know what I'm saying? They want you to buy the cheap stuff that's not good for you, that has a whole bunch of sugar. So make sure you're watching out for the check. Yo, Chad, you guys starting off your morning with coffee? You guys are ruining your coffee by putting sugary shit in it 24 seven. It's not gonna help you out. Instead, have black coffee, put some butter in it, put some honey. Don't put no whipping cream, bro. Don't put that extra stuff on it. Just keep it plain and simple and keep it pushing, Chad. This cheese right here. Mexican style cheese, look at the ingredients, Chad. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, we'll show you some grass fed cheese. Yeah, we'll show you like a few ingredients max. Yeah. Yo, Chad, now we're going to one of the best sections for you guys. Instead of eating your candy 24 7, you know, get you some fruit. You know what I'm saying? Get you, get you some, some kiwi, some apple, some pineapple, some mangoes. You know what I'm saying? JP, what's your favorite fruit diet? Well, it's probably like watermelon, pineapple. Watermelon, pineapple. Pretty much like all fruits, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah, all yeah. fruits are good. You know what I'm saying? That's what we gotta do. I even heard. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, fruits aren't God's candy. And it's WT right here. You know, we gotta try this out, though. The one. Yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chat. Instead of feeding your kids this bullshit right here, chat, just have them eat real fruit which is gonna have them feel better. They're gonna do better in school. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna be throwing a tense tantrum. They're, they're just gonna be on point. And they're gonna feel good. Like kids are supposed to feel. Kids aren't supposed to be out of whack, not feeling good. Richard, I'm putting you guys on real quick. Pomegranates, it's gonna double your testosterone. I heard if you drink pomegranate juice, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna wake up with a woody, bro. I'm telling you right now. If you're not waking up with a woody, are you really a man, bro? <laughs> like, come on, dog. Chad, this is probably your football game special, huh? You know what I'm saying? You get you get your beer, you get your, your alcohol, you got your chips. Bro, you're not gonna feel good if you're eating stuff like that and you're watching football. You know, you're manifesting a whole bunch of random stuff in your mind. You know, JP be watching football too. You like football, but... Nah, see, I don't even watch the Seahawks games. That's once a week when you're on. That's it. I don't once do, a week. I don't do no so he, he he fit, high, he fit. I be in the high protein food, you know what I mean? <laughs> he, he's juicing up by watching football, I, mean, I guess. I be pumping too by when the game goes. Yeah. Around. Hey, work out while you're watching the football game, you know what I'm saying? I have you on point. <laughs> okay, yo, chat. Now we're going to the cheat code. If you're at work, you can start getting stuff like this. You know, sardines. I eat this every single day at work. Huh? Yeah, Chad, this is, this is the chili I was talking about. Sometimes have all natural. Some ingredients. You know, Bobby approved. You can raise good. Bobby, know, Bobby approved. Oh, yeah, right there. And we also got, you know, the herring fish. But the herring fish does have some bad ingredients. So don't eat too much of that. And then tuna is good too. You can make tuna fish sandwiches, bro. Top you some tuna for about 88 cents. Make this with a sandwich with some natural mayo. You know, you can add some boiled eggs in there, bro. That's fire. I'm telling you guys right yeah, now. Natural mayo is probably the best that would, that would, uh, would be avocado. Avocado? Wait, uh, is it avocado oil or huh? is it av avocado mayonnaise or something like that? You think I? One, one, one of the two. You're I the one making the sandwiches, huh? <laughs> one, yeah. One you got JP sandwich special. No, the only sandwich bread I'd be using is like all natural sourdough bread. All natural, all natural sourdough bread. Chat, come on. Yeah, now. A couple ingredients. Otherwise, I don't need no bread. Oh, yeah. That or some German all natural bread as well. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, chat. You guys should not be eating any other chocolate except for this one. This one's 100 percent cacao chocolate. It's gonna have you feeling good. Cacao is good for your body. You know what I'm saying? But all the other stuff just has processed, processed sugar in it. You know, it's not as good for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this has like palm oil, 
yeah, non-fat milk, soy lactin. Don't be eating none of that stuff. Just get the 100%, 100% pure dark. The darker, the better, bro. I'm telling you right now. And another good thing that you guys can cook in, you guys can cook in coconut oil. You guys can cook in ghee butter right here. You know, but don't be using canola. Don't be cooking in canola oil. Don't be cooking in vegetable oils. It's gonna have you feeling inflamed. The more bad oils you put in your body, from you eating McDonald's, from you eating a whole bunch of junk food, bro, it's not gonna have you feeling on point, I'm telling you right now. JP got some baking soda, what are you gonna use with that? Okay, I'll chat some baking soda, and let's start brushing my teeth, and white teeth, and I go to and all that bullshit. Get you some baking soda, get you some coconut oil. So you brush your teeth with coconut oil and baking soda, and trust. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Chat, you'll chat. If you're making pancakes, yeah. Tell, yeah, yeah, how does your mom make your pancakes, bro? Yeah, see, my mom makes homemade natural pancakes and waffles with uh, simple ingredients, eggs, you know, butter, you know, shoot, whatever else, you know, all that stuff. All natural ingredients. So. All natural, all natural. And I see, I see in the freezer, my fucking brother, you buying these Kodiak bullshit protein pancakes. <laughs> I'm like, bro, mom makes homemade pancakes and waffles every weekend. What are you doing, bro? Check the ingredients, okay? <laughs> Look at all those ingredients, bro. Like, what? Yeah. It literally has sunflower, sunflower and or soy, probably oil, right? See, it's not too bad, though. Oh, yeah. No. It has, like, wiggle Maybe sunflower. this one not too bad, but I've seen, not too bad. I've seen that one that he had. That had Hold on, this one. one. Cody, Cody acts. Kodiak doesn't like. Yeah, chat. Kodiak's not too bad. But like, what? Hungry Jack. What is hungry? <laughs> hungry Jack. Yeah, this has cornstarch, canola oil, soybean oil. Yeah, don't get hungry Jack. If you're gonna get a pancake mix, you should definitely be getting the code the Kodak one. Yeah, I think the Kodiak one that I seen. You might look like. Was the, I think it was the one where like, it was already made. These ones are like not made. made yeah. Made. And then make sure you guys aren't using none of this bullshit right here, guys. <laughs> get the get the get this one right here or or that one. 100 percent. Getting a hundred percent pure organic maple, syrup. organic maple syrup, and it's in a glass container, bro. You're gonna be eating like a king. You know what I'm saying? But if you're eating, yeah, I don't know. This is kind of shit too. Yeah, if you're eating this. Bro, throw it out. Come on, chat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maple syrup. I can tell my mom now. Yeah, that one's good. Even that one's good, too. This one's good, too, chat. Yo, chat, yo, chat. One of my favorites right here. The honey is a go-to. Put honey in your tea. Put honey on your coffee. Put honey on your meals, bro. Have a spoonful of honey in the morning. Get your digestion on point. Get you ready to focus for the day. Honey's a go-to. You gotta get honey if you're going to the store. And then I add this in my protein shakes. You don't have to get peanut butter. But if you're gonna get a peanut butter, get this peanut butter. Jeremy knows why. Jeremy knows that there's a whole bunch of bullshit in the other peanut butter. Don't eat the Jeffs. Don't eat, you know, the Skippies. Don't eat none of that. Get the pure, just peanuts and salt. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help you guys out, Jack. I don't want you not feeling 100%. Chat, one of my favorite snacks at work are mixed nuts. You can get any nuts. Macadamians are a good one. You know, Brazil nuts are a good one. Brazil are good fats. It's gonna double your testosterone. And we got the mixed nuts. I usually get this one right here. You know, it's mixed 50-50. Then we also, they restacked up on dates, but it looks like a whole bunch of people already ate some. I had some, you know, the dates are good, the dates are fine. Oh yeah, check. Instead of eating donuts, bro, eat you some dates. Dates taste way better than donuts, bro. So JP's about to show you the cheese right here. Oh, that's cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. Get the grass-fed cheese, not the other bullshit. That has a lot of ingredients. Grass-fed cheese, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is the best that you can get. You know what I'm saying, right here. Or you can get the shredded. Yeah, that's fine. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. Switch my one is one kind of good too. Yeah, it's good too. Oh yeah. You know, chat in my favorite section now we're in the meat section. You know, this is what I usually get when I'm getting my ground turkey right here. I get about three pounds of it. Yeah, I got two of those that'll last me the whole week. Yeah, yeah. And then grass fed beef. If you wanna get beefy chat, I'm telling you guys right now. You gotta get the beef chat. So it costs, it costs more here, yeah, huh? I got this one. We got beef right here. Yes, sir. 19 grams of protein per second. Yeah, right there. Check. If you're trying to bless me for my birthday or something, just give me a ribeye steak. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to love you for it. I'm going to love you anyways. But you're just doubling the love by giving me a ribeye, bro. 10 out of 10. Hey, shout out my grandpa for always giving me ribeyes. No cap. He's a ribeye master. No cap. <laughs> chat, yo, chat. Don't be drinking any of this bullshit protein, protein drinks right here, bro. Whole bunch of sugar. It's not gonna have you 100%, bro. I'm telling you right now. Look at all this ingredients, bro. Sunflower oil, soy lactin. Do you see that in the ingredients list, Jack? Come on, bro. Hey, now if you're cooking, if you're cooking, you gotta be cooking with your butter, your Irish butter. It's pure butter, bro. It's gonna have you on point for 100%. And also, when I'm making protein shakes, I usually add grade A, grade A, whole milk in it. It's gonna get you right. You can't go wrong with it. <laughs> okay, now it's time to get the true protein in. You know, you can't go wrong with getting the big stack of eggs. That's a go-to. I usually get three of those, last me a week. I try to eat six to nine eggs every day. If you're gonna double the testosterone, I have to a 100% chain right there. J-Dog, you fiddling your cock over there, bud? Hey, we're catching you red-handed. We got the phage, non-GMO, Greek yogurt. You should be getting this. Or you can get this one, this one's a good one too. But it doesn't taste as good as this one. This one tastes way better. I be getting this one. So if you wanna feel good, you know what I'm saying? Have your Greek yogurt, put some blueberries, some honey on it. Instead of eating highly processed yogurt, get the plain yogurt, you know what I'm saying? A lot of your kids be eating stuff like this. What is this, bro? Sugary <laughs> shit. It's gonna have your kids Yo jumping crunch. through the roof. <laughs> Time to crunch on some yogurt. What? Put some homemade granola in it and have plain yogurt. It's gonna have you feeling good. I used to love these as a kid though, no cow. Hey, these were the go these were the go-to, but now I can't be eating them, bro. No cow. Yo, chat, we're probably in the worst section for your health. Look at this. We got cake right here. We got donuts. We got blueberry muffins right here, bro. It's not gonna have you feeling good. Make sure you're staying away from the carbs, especially if you're trying to get shredded. Especially if you're trying to fill 100%. But we got J JP over here. He found some sourdough. How, how good is that? Oh, this is the sourdough bread I'm talking about here, chat. Only a couple ingredients. Things you need for water, eight sourdough, sourdough, sea salt, wheat, gluten, bread, acid, and everything. Yeah, so if you're getting any bread, get you some sourdough bread. It's going to have you feeling better than eating any other bread, chat. Hey, that's your grocery haul though. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Me and JP, we out. That's what we do. Yes, sir. J Doc, what do you gotta say? We're, we're different. Huh? It's the last clip. Oh, yeah. Chat, that was the video. You know, I'm showing you what to eat, what not to eat, etc. All that stuff. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, we'll see you guys stay blessed. Yes, sir. You gotta stay blessed up. Make sure you're watching out for your family. Just trying to help them improve their eating habits. You know, you can tell them to improve their eating habits, but if they're not gonna actually take action, and it's not on you, it's their fault. So, you know, we just gotta keep spreading the positivity, chat. Let's go.